Welcome. Welcome to my prayer closet. I'm very, very excited that you chose to take a moment to come and to pray in agreement with me this morning. Now, today's prayer is going to be an and suddenly prayer for your children's future. And if you are a grandma, your grandchildren's future as well. Now, all week long, our prayer focus is called and suddenly. And what does that mean? That simply means that God, the God of the breakthrough, can break through at any moment. And suddenly things will change and turn around. Just like he did with Paul and Silas. Just like he did with the children of Israel. There's so much evidence in the Bible of and suddenly moments. And so that's our prayer focus for the week. Now, our meditation and memory verse is found in Jeremiah 33 and 27. And it says, I am the Lord. The God of all mankind is anything too hard for me? And the answer to that, ladies, is absolutely not. Now, I'm going to pray for your children and grandchildren to experience and suddenly moments that will absolutely impact their future. And when I'm done praying, if you're in agreement with me, then hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to share it. Type a man or drop some prayer emojis so I'll know you're with me and I can be praying for you and your children and your grandchildren. And be sure to stick around because I believe the Lord is leading me to share a quick personal story regarding an and suddenly moment that happened to my 14 year old son just last week. Are y'all ready? Come on. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we lift up your holy name and praise your holy name right now. Lord, you are awesome, God. You are bigger than big, but closer than close. And Father, we lift up our children and our grandchildren to you, Lord. Father, we're praying for an end suddenly moment to take place in their lives. Lord, it's not your will that they should perish, but you want our children and grandchildren to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we want to pray specifically regarding their future. We pray that you would put them in the right place at the right time. We pray that they will be successful in their future. But more than anything, we pray for their walk, their relationship with you, Lord. Father, we pray and wish above all things that our children would prosper and be in good health, even as their soul prospers. We pray, Father God, that they are academically educated, Lord Jesus. We pray that you would open up doors for our children supernaturally that no man can shut. We also pray that you would close the wrong doors and that our children and grandchildren won't walk through the wrong doors with the wrong people to completely walk into the trap of the enemy. The devil is a liar. We pray that our children will not be ensnared and enslaved by Satan and his demons. We cast the care of our children and grandchildren over on you. And we declare right now that they are safe and secure because of the angels that will be encamped all around them. Father, we pray that our children and grandchildren will make good, wise decisions. We pray they will serve you all the days of their lives, Lord. We pray for their spouses. Hallelujah. We pray that our children and grandchildren will only date and marry men and women of God. We pray that our children and grandchildren will never, ever, ever be confused about their sexuality. That our daughters and granddaughters will marry men and our sons will marry women and only be attracted to the opposite sex. So we pray right now, Lord Jesus, that you would touch their hearts even while they're sleeping, while they're driving, while they're in school. Rock them, Lord. Do it in a moment. 
rearrange and change situations so that our children know and our grandchildren know just how real you are, just how big you are, and just how close you are. Hallelujah. Mm. Reveal yourselves. Reveal yourselves to them in unique and special ways. It's in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Well, sisters, I want to thank you for joining me. And um, this is something the Lord placed on my heart. And it really confirms uh, the personal testimony I want to share with y'all. So please listen to this, okay? Um, A lot of of you, a lot of us, we pray and pray and pray for our children. And that's what we should do. And we first and foremost, of course, should be praying for our children to have their own relationship with Jesus Christ, not a forced one where we are forcing God on them, but we need God to reveal himself to our children and grandchildren personally, right? So we want to pray for that. But here's something that the Lord just placed on my heart so beautifully. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Y'all listen very closely to this. If you're not doing this, start praying uh, for God uh, to provide unique situations and circumstances so that your children know how real he is. Pray for your children to be in situations where all they know is, wow, this is God. That they know that it's a miracle that took place that only can come from God. And y'all, that's important because our children have to contend with the lies of the devil every day and the world but if if there are circumstances that happen in their lives that solidify, ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit, their faith, you need their faith to override and stump out the lives of the devil because most of our children are not strong enough in their faith, not all, because some of your kids are really serving the Lord, okay? Um, very quickly, I hope you stick around. Here's a personal testimony of something God did for my 14 year old son uh, to reveal himself to him just last weekend. My son and I were at a humongous basketball tournament, and it is the biggest basketball tournament he's ever played in. He is playing in a division uh, at the tournament that is the lower level competition. But there is a place called The Show that had the elite competitors at the competition. And so my son and I decided uh, we would go to The Show to watch some games. Well, my son had had two terrible games. I could see it in his face. One game he didn't even score, and another game I think he only scored four points. He was sad. He was down. He didn't want to talk about it. And so we ate and went to see the elite players play. Watch this, y'all. We walked in the building, and there were seven basketball courts to choose from. We were more than an hour and a half away from home. We knew no one. We didn't know which game to look at. So my son said, let's just go to court seven. And I'm thinking, Lord, seven is completion in the Bible. Let's do court seven. We went to court seven. We're watching these elite 11th and 12th graders play some of the best in the country. And my son saw a young man who was wearing the sneakers my son was wearing, some white sneakers that most guys don't wear. 
The young man had a low haircut like my son. The young man was my son's complexion, but he was six foot five where my son is five eleven. And um, he caught my son's eye. Long story short, my son got inspired by this young man. He was so inspired that uh, God gave him a glimpse of what his future could look like. And my son was excited again, but I'm not done yet. Y'all look at the picture on the screen. That's my son and the young man. Watch this, y'all. I found someone there who was from my city um, an hour and a half away from this place where we were, who knew the son, my, the, the, the young man's dad. And I introduced myself and the dad introduced us to the son. And the young man had a chance to impart and encourage my son. And it was exciting for him, but I'm not done yet. We followed the young man on Twitter, Googled him, and he is one of the top 25 12th grade basketball players in the country, y'all. He has more than 40 college offers and he's preparing for the NBA draft. And we had no idea. Now, why do I tell y'all that story? Um, well, as we were driving away, my son said, Mom, how, how could how could God do that? He said that that was God. We were not even going to drive over here. And we chose the perfect court so I could see him. And my son kept saying, wow, wow, wow. I've never met a five-star basketball player before. Wow. And I could see the amazement in his eyes. And I thought, boom, another opportunity for God to reveal himself to my child so that my son knows, man, God is big and God can do anything. Anyway, thank y'all for indulging me. I hope that testimony encourages you. Pray for unique circumstances and suddenly moments so God can reveal himself to your children. I love you all. Y'all have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.